I don't know if you heard that, Joey Image. Bricks Porter has an actual hometown now. He's from Colorado. I thought, I thought Diamond, I mean, Diamond Jim. I thought Carolina Jim said Ontario. No, he said Colorado. Oh, I not, not quite the same place. The, uh, the ever happy Bricks Porter has arrived once again in Three Legacies Wrestling. And Joey Image, have you ever seen him smile? weighing in at 180 spirits. And we saw Bones last month in the Red Rose Rumble. Bricks Porter involved in six-man tag action at the Red Rose Rumble. Neither one of them were victorious in their respective matches. Yeah, two-time losers. Uh, I wouldn't say that to either of their faces. You're a braver man than I, sir. I don't know if Bones has a face behind those feathers. <clears throat> oh, the feathers are actually behind him. So we're going to kick things off at a pre-show match between the modern-day Nomad and the Voodoo God. First time these two have ever gone one-on-one. -on -one. Bricks Porter, a little hesitant to step into the ring against Bones. There's the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... 3L-Dub. Our one-year anniversary show about to begin with starting things off with our pre-show entertainment here. Oops. Side headlock takeover there from Bricks Porter. Start Bricks things Porter, off here. Bricks Porter's got a definite size advantage right here over the bony guy. The bony guy? Yeah. He, you know, they named a TV show after that guy. Bones. It's called Bones, yeah. It's, it airs in 120 spirits and eight countries. That's a lot of spirits per country. Oh. Bones with a schoolboy roll up here. Oh, Porter gets out of it. Huge drop kick from the voodoo god. Bricks Porter reeling from that hit. Porter takes it to the outside for a uh, maybe a little breather there, but I don't think Bones is going to allow this. Nope, oh. right on his back. <laughs> Almost he took Bricks Porter right into the Oh front man, that's a, a bad that's a bad spot to be in though when you got a guy like Bricks Porter who's a veteran who uh you know thinks to just back up and bash you into the post. Just bash his skull right into the post there. Yeah, his bones. <laughs> his bones might be aching when Bricks Porter's done with him. And there's a guy giving out candy or something. It's not even Halloween yet. Uh, Bones is well prepared for the uh, festivities coming up next month. But first he's going to have to get through Bricks Porter. One thing I've noticed about the modern day Nomad, he's always business. There's no wasted motion with Bricks Porter here. You know what I've noticed about the modern day Nomad? He moves around a lot. Like Almost like a Nomad. Almost like a Nomad, wow. You know, Nomad backwards is Damon. I went to high school with a kid named Damon. That's not him, though. It's not Bricks. Is it's this story guy. going somewhere? Yeah, it's a high school. Okay. So just like Bricks Porter, it's going somewhere. Zach, I was about to say, Zach Carlucci needs to get these guys out of the corner. Then he's already yelling at them. They did get out of the corner into the other corner, and Porter what? took an elbow right to the mouth there. You think that giant beard is any protection? Well, you, you were the guy with the big beard your whole career. Nice bulldog there. I never had Bricks a big Porter. beard like that. Here we go. A possible cover here. Nope. nope. Or a possible cover. Possible pinfall here, I should say. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a definite there cover a definite on a cover. possible pinfall. Yes. The audience is reeling behind Bones here. And again, this is only the second time we've seen Bones in Three Legacies Wrestling. Correct. We, we have seen debut. Bricks Porter a few times, and the fans not not big on the modern-day Nomad. 
I, I like him. He, he's also not very big on the fans, though, from what I, I understand. What, Bones is having some kind of medical. Oh, maybe not. Some, some kind I of thought he was having some, some kind of attack or something in the ring. Porter looked like he didn't know what was going on. He might be channeling those 180 spirits right now. Huge clubbing blows from the front and back of Bricks Porter. Porter doesn't know what to do or where to go, or what's going on. Big clothesline takes the Nomad down. Second clothesline. Porter staggering back to his feet, goes for a clothesline of his own. Huge back elbow off the middle rope. Bones goes for a cover. And kick no, out. Man, you got, I've said this before, but you want to cover Bricks Porter, you got to uh, hook both legs. Oh! Stand up, DDT there. Porter might be out cold. Nope. I know one Porter that's usually out cold, but it ain't Bricks. This is a much better Porter that we are hey guys. working with today. Hey, guys. Watching Bones is uh, questioning the referee. Uh, Zach Carlucci is not a referee that you want to question. That guy's been around the block for 20 something years, 22 years, whatever. Been around longer than I have. He is I one of the best. Uh, he is one of the best referees on the independent scene. Oh, huge back elbow takes the voodoo god down. It might have done a little damage to Porter, too. Huge boot, boot to right the chest, to the brick kind of. basket. No. Bones definitely feeling that one. I don't know what kind of voodoo powers he might be channeling, but it sure it's not working to be on immune from pain. Yeah. Oh, oh he grabbed the calls Porter that. holds the tights but gets the victory. He calls that the last road home. And that is it. Referee Zach Carlucci did not notice him pulling the tights. No, oh, Zach Carlucci unfortunately did not notice that. The, the I'll tell you, those fans in the front row right there noticed. They're, they're giving Porter the business. I, I appreciate how when Carolina Jim said the winner of the match, Bricks Porter went, me! Well, he was. <laughs>